Hi guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful Friday and we are coming your way with your favorite entertainment show in the whole of Ghana, Topics. We know it's been a while, but today especially, there's a very important guest because he's been missing for a while. Nana Kwame is in the building and yes. guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and when we come back, we will give you all the gist. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. So, like I said, Nana Kwame, the, re the return of the prodigal son. <laughs> yes, I am back and I've been clothed with a glorifying rope. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we are going to jump to our fifth story for today. And, man, the man Olu Jacobs, the man himself, popular actor Olu Jacobs. If you're a fan of Nollywood, then definitely know who this man is um he has been alive for 79 years he turns 80 this year and it's a big milestone for him because over the last couple of years um he's gotten very ill and you can see it physically um he has been reported to be uh, diagnosed with dementia with Lewy buddy i think so yeah. but yes uh, the main focus is that he has dementia which has really eaten up eating him up. Um, there have been so, so many reports about his death, which always come out to be not true. But his wife, Joke Silva, has been with him throughout. They are the, I don't know, Hollywood power couple, yes. if I should put it that way, because yeah. they've been together so long and are still very much in love. And uh, fans were caught by surprise when they uh, sent out his, you know, 80th birthday celebration mm -hmm. photo um, he looks, he looks drained, yeah. but you can still see the fire in his yeah, eyes. The gleam. Right? The Olu Jacobs that we all know. But don't forget also that Joke Silver has also revealed that they are going to be starring in a play. The both of them in December for the, uh, for the, for his 80th birthday celebration. Wow. I know, right? For someone to have dementia and still and be able to, right, and it's, it's a live? stage play, right? <laughs> it's live. It's not like they're recording. Wow. You have to give it for him. We are, we are also opening a GoFundMe account. Fund us to go and watch the play. So Amen. we can come and tell you. Right, so we'll fly all the way to Nigeria, watch the play and come back and give you more gist. But yes. And guys, moving on to our fourth story. Listen, guys. So basically, unemployment is on the rise and Ghana is hot and hard. But some people are moving through corporations like a Tomb Raider, grabbing positions as many as they can. And it's none other than Jifa Bampo of previous Joy FM who left to Tolo Oil and left Tolo Oil to TV3 or Media General and is leaving Media General to a public corporation to do communications. Man, I want, I to, be want like to be in your circle. Right? Like, link me, connections. How does it happen? Okay, open the doors, give us the key. Come back to media, go back to corporate world, come back to media and then back to the corporate. Must be nice. It must be nice. I mean, her CV should speak well for her, but whatever it is, link us up. We need to know your connections too. But then definitely we wish her all the best in this new endeavor. And if she's anything, and if she's anything to go by, she will probably be leaving to BBC soon. <laughs> Whichever way her journey takes her, we are here to wish her all the best. Moving on to our third story for the week. A lot has been happening in Nigeria. I mean, mm. when hasn't there been something happening? happening in Nigeria. <laughs> Nigerians are sick going through their president, going through insecurity, going through just general hardships. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all complain in Ghana, but the issue in Nigeria is always like 10 times yeah. harder. Uh -huh. And this week, we were hit with some news. A whole presidential convoy was attacked. A whole presidential convoy was attacked. So Buhari's co uh, convoy was apparently attacked. Um, they shot bullets by... What are their names? Bandits. Bandit, so yeah. apparently Buhari's um, convoy was attacked by bandits. They shot through some of his bulletproof vehicles. Guys, you can imagine how bad that attack was and killing some of the drivers, yeah. but Buhari made it out safe. And not just that, there was also prison break in Nigeria as well. The Kunja pr uh, prison, I, yeah, which is one of the biggest and the most secure prisons yes. in Nigeria. They broke it. <laughs> And about hundreds of inmates flew out. They tried to escape, but, you know, a lot of them were also arrested and taken back again. 
And it was within the same day of, I mean. Listen, I, sometimes I refuse to believe Nigeria is a real place. Exactly. And not like a dystopian country that is just like playing right in front of us. <laughs> Nigeria needs help, man. I mean, the whole of the world needs help, but I feel like Nigeria needs it more. And the thing is, despite all the many, I don't even know what to call them, many situations happening in the Afrobeat is saving them. Afrobeat's the entertainment <laughs> front is holding the country it's Holding together. the country together. So without the entertainment industry, Nigeria will basically be, you know, wiped out from the surface of Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like They're really going through it. Guys, you get your PVC. Vote. <laughs> vote. Okay, get your PVC and vote. Yeah. Our reign of who now identifies as a Nigerian, Ebuka will tell you <laughs> that he needs to secure his country. <laughs> Moving on to our second story. Guys, it wasn't long ago mm -hmm. that Anita and the CEO of Edinka Pai rocked our world you with really their spectacular world. wedding. Um, that was back-to-back, three-day event of different activities. Porsche, luxury, you name it. Um, you just realize that Odo in your day in chain Sika. Odo is sweet when Sika is involved. But it has not been even two years, barely even a year. And we are hearing rumors that the couple may be heading to the rocks. They may have rocked our world, but now they're heading to the rocks. And it looks like Split is soon coming. And a lot of people are thinking, how did that happen? I mean, the wedding was so glamorous that I always say this. If I ever have such a glamorous wedding, it will keep my wedding together. Right? Like I was saying, if I want to break, I'm like, hey, after all that well, we, we did, did, let's stay together, okay? <laughs> we can't lose that money. But yes, um, the CEO of Edwin Kappa has come to put all the raging um, rumors and um, assumptions to sleep. Having said, it's a lie and we should regard it as such a rumor and that they are seemingly going strong. We hope so. We hope so because at this point, make the rock not can break you people. Edwin Kappa should be the rock. Of your, of your relationship, okay? Let the money and love be the rock of your relationship. We cannot survive a breakup. And don't tell me what do you mean by we. We are all part of the wedding. Guys, uh, to our <laughs> first pick of the day. Hmm. EIB. The... Listen. Excellence in broadcasting is now excellence in not paying salaries. <laughs> I hope they don't come for me. But guys... <laughs> This week has been all about, uh, you know, EIB network and, you know, um, unpaid salaries. Uh, mm -hmm. Workers have had enough and are saying that we are demanding a backlog of salaries for as far as nine months and we want it paid now. Um, it made it to social media. They, they went on a strike and apparently any um, employee who engaged in that strike was asked yes. to stay off air. They were relieved of their duties and, you know, the issue about being loyal to your employee, employers and all that were being discussed. And in that whole Bruha, how you know, Bridget Otto is friends with Nana Bana Moa, who is also the general manager for GH1 TV. Yeah. And she said, you know what, Nana, this is the time for you to stand up and fight for your employees because you and I have been there before when we were at G, uh, TV3. So I think you should stand up and, and, yeah. and, and fight for them. Bridget also came for Dr. Kabina Dufo, who is the owner of you know, the media conglomerate, uh, who is also thinking of running right. for president uh, on the ticket of the NDC. And she's saying that if you cannot pay your, own, uh, your own employees, how are you going to take care of the whole country? And it sparked a lot of debate. Manasseh Azuri has waded in saying that even though the issue is very dire and seeks a lot of opinions from people, if you're a media person, you do not want to entangle yourself in another yeah. media company's affairs because you never know. And the way they are poaching people up and down, you never know where you are going to end or who is going to bring you an offer. And then maybe some things you've said about them in the past denies you that opportunity. And the manager of City, City. you know, Samens also waded in. Um, he was basically um, calling out Daily Graphic for not interviewing the CEO of EIB, who is um, Bola Ray, but then writing a story and using his photo um, to, you know, as the cover, you know, <laughs> story. But he also said that if you're an employee and your employer is not paying you, why don't you resign? It's, it's such a privileged standpoint. Exactly. Because... 
You're telling us that if people are, are, are at city are not happy about their salaries, you're not paying them, they can just resign. Right. As if there's a lot of jobs even in the country. Exactly. But moving, going back to what Manasse was saying, if you're in the media, you do not. But yes, um, in the latest interview on Asase Radio, Dr. Kwabna Dufo has revealed that all salaries for January 2022, for the year 2022, have been paid. The salaries that employees are striking for are the backlog of salaries that have not been paid for the past nine months, which is the previous years. You all remember Bolare came out to say how difficult the situation was at EIB, how he wasn't able to, he hasn't been able to pay them. But the situation changed since January 2022 till, you know, July, which is this new month. They have all been paid, but the employees are still demanding that. But of course, they worked all those months, so you should be able to pay them. So yes, that is the EIB situation right now. And we hope they're able to resolve their situation, find money, pay these employees. If you cannot pay them, you ask them to leave, but then... Then where are they leaving? Exactly, because if they leave, are you going to get more people to come? But yeah, you can live and come to Amia Debra. We need cleaners. We need. I I I, I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this, but guys, listen. It's about time as a country we do better by workers. And I say this because as a national service person <laughs> of a country that pays me five five nine and has refused to pay me for months, it hurts. <laughs>